It's time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning with a special recipe for your Valentine is Eric Berlin, better known as Chef Egg from Cooking with Egg. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm yeah. here to spread the love in Baltimore. Yeah. I don't want Jayfro to get jealous, so we, we don't want her to see this. Jen, one. no jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, No, she would love it. Today I want to make a, a recipe, uh, it's a classic French recipe called peau de creme. Mm. And it's really gourmet. Yeah. It's like inexpensive and really easy to make. I like fancy but easy. You got it. So I have some hot cream and milk, about a cup and a half of cream, mm -hmm. half a cup of milk over here. It's been simmering uh, really, really lightly. I had added really, really good chocolate, like Ghirardelli good. You know High what I mean? quality yeah, chocolate. And this is a bittersweet chocolate. And all we're going to do is melt that chocolate in with that cream, mm -hmm. okay? So we want to make this kind of, it's like a really fancy pudding, okay? Okay. So after we melt that chocolate and that cream, have we have a little bit of egg yolk and sugar. So we have four yeah. egg yolks and a half a cup of sugar in this bowl over here. So the goal, once we melt this up, is to take this mixture, I want you to take that, okay. and you're just gonna whisk, and I'm gonna take some of this mixture, and just kinda, yeah, there you go, and, and we're gonna temper those eggs and that sugar. So just mix that up a little bit at a time so the eggs don't cook, okay? Right. So you're mixing, I'm adding, and this is like something that couples could do, you know? And then, uh, you know, you could do this with the kids as well. It's fun to cook with your honey. Absolutely. Just, you know, don't fight over the dishes. That's what I ask. <laughs> so we're pouring that in there a little bit at a time. Yeah. Okay? That smells good. Yeah, very, very simple. And if you put that down, what I'll do is I'll add the rest of that cream mixture. Mm -hmm. And you're going to finish whisking that in just like that. Okay. All right? Am so, I doing it? Yeah, yeah. Whisk oh, it okay. up. Whisk it up. All right, cool. We are, we are now friends. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and we are going to cook together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a little ramekin. It could be a, a teacup if you don't have. Um, and we're just going to take some of this. You would strain this uh, just to get out any little bits of egg or, or chocolate that aren't completely melted. Okay. Um, but we're just going to pour maybe two to three ounces in here. It's so decadent. It's so rich. Yeah. Okay. Use the good chocolate. You got it. So what we're going to do to cook these is, is do like a water bath like you would a cheesecake. I'll take that for okay. you. Okay. Cool. And so we have a, a pan here. It's about an inch high. So you're going to put this in the oven, 300 degrees. Then you're going to fill this up with hot water so it cooks evenly. Mm -hmm. All right. Cover it up with some foil. It takes about a half hour. 300 degrees and what you're going to do is just kind of give it a little jiggle and if it's jiggly right in the middle mm -hmm. take it out let it cool outside of the refrigerator and then put it, wrap it up put it in the refrigerator overnight that's how you know it's done you know it and then everything you're gonna get good these. is jiggly in the middle <laughs> um, so we have the pot de creme right here okay so if you want to take that whipped cream right there just put the whipped cream right there All and just right. give that a shot of whipped cream it's going to come out Fast oh, and furious. There you go. <laughs> so we got that fresh whipped cream. Yeah. If you like it creamy. Mm -hmm. We got some fruit over here. All I took right. some strawberries, some blueberries, and we took some star fruit just oh, to make it real nice one. looking. Yeah, put a little star fruit on top of there. Nice color. Little carambola. Look and that. again, very, very nice. Um, you know, a great presentation, but very simple. We okay? eat with our eyes. You know it. So now I have a little brulee. We're gonna take some sugar and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get it on fire right here. So uh, super easy. You can brulee this right up. Um, if you want more information about myself, you can go to chefegg.com. I do culinary events, corporate events, military events, okay. school events, colleges. I'm all over the place. And my goal is to give people the skills they need to succeed in the kitchen. So we're having a great time and, and, and give, really giving people those, those awesome skills uh, to lead a um, you know, great culinary journey in their life. And I love this uh, recipe that you have here because it really is pretty simple, uh, but it is fancy as well. And you I love to it. make people think I put a lot of work into something easy. And then you had me at, then torch it at the end. You got it. You got it. You got to set it on fire. Oh, yeah. Set it on fire because it's hot. It's hot. All right. So this looks great. Mm -hmm. And again, like you said, you're available for these large events. Absolutely. And, you know, you've got the skills that we need. My pleasure to serve you all. My, my pleasure to serve Baltimore. Yes. You know I'm here with that love. Yeah, and this is something, again, Valentine's Day is coming up. You can do this with your sweetie, or you can do it today for football, for Super Bowl, rather, if you want to elevate uh, what you're giving to your guests. You know it. Awesome, awesome. All right, coming up next, we have more news and weather for you. We'll be right back.